All right, man, we already know this is a given um, that probably the Chicago Bears is going to draft Caleb Williams. This probably go up Thursday afternoon or something. Um, we probably know that's a given. What's so funny is you had a lot of Chicago Bear fans who was against Caleb Williams. They said that Justin Fields was was that guy. I think, you know, everybody liked Justin Fields, but the record just indicated that he wasn't good enough, you know, um, wasn't they guy? Um, so they drafted Kayla Williams. I think what also factored into that was, um, you know, CJ Stroud playing well last year. You know, so, you know, check out the NC North playlist, all that. And I just let you know, most fans is just, they complain. And <clears throat> when they make a move, then they're going to support it anyway. So, you know, a lot of them was like, oh, we don't want Kayla Williams. We don't need him. We can move down a couple spots, draft Marvin Harrison Jr., you know, and pair him with a – and get a lineman or something like that because they had another pick and then pair him with Justin Fields and, and this, that, and the third. And the thing about it is they fired the offensive coordinator for, you know, some heinous acts allegedly. And now, you know, you like, man, this could be a start of fourth or fifth coordinator or something like this. I mean, let this kid go somewhere else. Also, he had a $25 million uh, fifth-year option coming up, I think, next season or the Steelers just picked it up. So, I mean, you got to pay him a lot of money in the coming years. I mean, he had some injuries here and there. Maybe they didn't think he was progressing as a passer. Maybe they thought Cole Komet and DJ Moore was enough. I mean, there's a lot of things. And I just think, you know, when the number one pick keep lining and falling in your lap, that's telling you that you probably need to go out there and get a quarterback. That's probably what it's telling you. You need to go out there and get a quarterback. So, yeah, when that number one pick keep falling in your lap, keep falling in your lap, and a lot of fans are like, oh, we don't want Caleb Williams. We good with Justin Fields. Williams ain't this, that, and third. Now they getting Caleb Williams. Oh no, he gonna be the the next, you know, uh, uh, you know, Patrick Mahomes. He gonna be the next, this, that, and the third. Now I haven't watched the kid a lot, but I watched him more at Oklahoma when he took over for Spencer Wilder. I will say, I'm impre I was impressed. I thought he was bigger than Pauls. Than what they got him at six one. I thought he was a bigger quarterback than that. To be honest. You know, did I see some things with a pink phone case and pink nail? He has some pink nails on, some pink phone case. At the at, and maybe he was just you know representing the girls at USC. Man, this well, masculinity is dead, bro. You got a masculine uh, boyfriend or husband, females, man, tuck them tight. You know, then I see him said he lost. He was gonna go cry and cuddle with his dog or some shit like that. Like, do those raise some red flags? Yeah, especially like twenty years ago, at least. But today, that's just who they are. But here, heard some of the interview he did with the Pivot Podcast. Seemed to be a very confident young man um, from the what, Maryland, D.C. area. So he used to playing in the cold. Um, the size kind of concerns you a little bit. Now, he's not a small guy. I just thought he was more like 6'4", 6'3", variety, but athletic. Um, did he have some tough games at UFC? Absolutely. I think they have a tough game versus Tulane. Um or was it the, whatever, the, not this past year bowl, but the past year bowl. And, you know, with some issues saying that uh, that uh, the teammates at the bowl game last year were saying, or this past season, they were saying, uh, we a real team now. Nah, we a real team now. Nah, it would be a lot of jealous motherfuckers on there. You know how that shit be, but excuse my language. But um, something else I wanted to mention about them. Uh, oh, Jaden Daniels went through the same thing. They said they threw a party when he left Arizona State. I mean, he left and went to LSU and had success. They didn't have much success at Arizona State, you know, when he left. So, I mean, it's it's always jealousy. You can't you can't really help that. And you know, if they pick Caleb Williams and you know Justin Fields go on to be a superstar and Caleb Williams be a superstar, I don't know. I mean, whatever. You know, Justin Fields going to be great. And Caleb Williams don't. Then it's going to be talked about. Caleb Williams going to be great, and Fields don't. They look like geniuses. But right now, they kind of like idiots for not drafting C.J. Stroud last year. They look like idiots. So right now, if you get the number one pick, keep falling on your lap. I think they're trying to tell you something. I think they're trying to tell you something. So, um, But it's funny how you got the Bear fans, you know, doing a – uh, a total 180 doing a total 180 saying that uh you know oh now we want them after this and them and not wanting them and 
Now it's rumors that Arizona can move out of three, and maybe they don't want Marvin Harrison Jr. They might move out of three, and my thing is this. Uh, on that end, I mean, nobody's going to give a King's ransom to move up there. You know, there's not a, a, a you know, there's not a, a, a Peyton Manning or, you know, Calvin Johnson. I like Marvin Harrison Jr. He's not him, but not that's not there. So you find that kind of funny, but but I don't think anybody want to give or number four, excuse me. Patriots trying to trade number three and said they not wild by the trades. I mean, shit, if you're willing to trade out of that out of there, that means you don't think the player's that good. So I'm gonna give up a king's ransom for it. So you know, if I'm Arizona, I dra I draft Marvin Harrison Jr. and don't look back. You know, straight up and down. Kyler Murray was fantastic coming off the ACL surgery last year. They, you know, you don't got Hollywood Brown. He went to Kansas City. Um, what's for funny, he had the most drops, you know, in the league at Kansas City last year. And Marquise Hollywood Brown, we remember he came to Detroit years ago and he had all them drops. <laughs> and they beat us in, they beat us at the end of the game like a 60-yard field goal from Justin Tucker. You always doing that at Ford Field. But uh, with, Caleb, with Caleb Williams, my whole, my whole thing about it is uh, – my whole thing about it is uh, – you know, the fans is fickle. It was a guy they didn't want. Now he's going to be the greatest quarterback of all time. And it's just, fans are just hopeful. They're not logical. It's the one time you it's okay to be hopeful and emotional within sports. That's when guys show their emotion. But sometimes, especially if you if you were using your money to bet, be logical. But it was, it was crazy how many fans, you know, supported Justin Fields and they wanted to keep Fields and say, fuck Williams and move down and get Marvin Harrison Jr., and then that tone changed once they got rid of Caleb Williams, and then they just started they got rid of Justin Justin Fields, and all of a sudden now Justin Caleb Williams is gonna be the greatest thing since sliced bread, which I was just seeing that he wasn't he was overrated, and we Fields is better, and now they, they come on man, you see, <laughs> shit is wild, it is wild, man, it is wild, but every fan base pretty much do that, but we see how it turn out for him, man. I think he's a talented dude. Just looking at Oklahoma as a true freshman, listening to him speak, confident dude. Um, if Chicago ever going to draft a great quarterback, it's him. You know, it's him. You know what I'm saying? They didn't draft Jay Cutler. You got to remember that. Um, so if they ever going to draft a great quarterback, it's going to be him. Um, I think they're building a dome too, right? A retractable roof. So we'll see, man. But I appreciate y'all, man. Check out the NFC North playlist. Hit the link tree. Find me on Instagram, Spotify, Anchor, Cash App, Venmo, PayPal, Apple Park, which is Spotify and Anchor. All my other information is in the link tree. Peace.